Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today, and we are playing The Sims 4 Get Together Part Number 43. Yes, I said it. 43. It's been so long since I've last, like, seen this family. It's been so long. I am... I recently updated my game about two days ago. Today is actually a Saturday. Yeah, today is Saturday, and I'm like, wait, hold up. Wow. So many things have been happening since the new update, and, like, so many new things. I, If you guys have did not see my um overview of the new patch update, please check that out. I will link the video link down below in the description so you guys can check it out and probably somewhere on the screen. But um, overall, you're trying to figure out who is this other girl right here? And you got Nancy Landgrab in the background. I'm like, oh my goodness. She finally pops out of nowhere and decides to show up out of random. I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, that that's his thing now. But this this lovely lady right here, this lovely teenager, is actually Lillian Little. So, and if you guys not know in the last part, I basically aged up Anika. And then I aged up Raven, and I aged up also some other people as well. But then off camera, I just kind of aged up Lillian and Nika. I mean, I aged up Lillian and some other people that are around Addie and all other people as well. But Addie, I also changed her look as well, and she looks very, very stunning right now. I truly love her new look right now. It's so... I feel like she's becoming an actual... Whoa. I thought I saw a floating head literally, like, over here. That was creepy. But, no, I actually changed up her look a lot more. And now that she's, like, getting a little bit older, she's becoming more of a mother, which I really, truly, generally do like a lot. And I'm happy that Lillian's happy, too. Like, finally in her life, she has someone that she, she does not have to go back to that group home. And if you guys didn't know, Lillian was actually adopted and it's been a while since, like, her, now her life is much better now that she has a mother. And I, I genuinely do feel happy for her, too. But on the other hand, we still don't know, well, actually, mostly, hold up, whoa, 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 oh, Jeffrey Linger was about to die, too, he's an elder. But somehow I saw floating things over here about Wes. Oh, snap, oh, snap, oh, snap, oh, snap, oh, snap. Who are you? Judas. But no, I saw Wes's face somewhere in this little area. I feel like, what I feel like is that these, these two right here, these two people right here, no. I feel like they know that they ki that someone killed Skip Broke and they know it was Wes. Whoa. Okay, we got Gate Garrison Hand and we also have Ural Romeo or whatever his name is. But still, they know. I know that they know. They know. I feel like he was delivering pieces that one night, but then he saw some type of ruckus going inside the house. So, so I guess he was outside, looked at the window, and then saw the murder happen. And I generally think that he knows. I'm not sure if he told the police. I really hope he has not told the police because Wes, he wants to propose to, to Addy before anything else happens in his life because he, he knows what he's done and he knows that it's not the right thing to do and along with Jeffrey he's getting older and he he's he's divorced and even though that he is he has his own life his own child he, he has his own child well two of them technically because he Nancy had another child before they got divorced and it's it's been a crazy ride it's been a couple of years since we've last seen these lovely lovely characters everyone's aged up Addie's living her life of luxury, well, not really luxury, but living the life of a happy life. And even though she doesn't have a lot of simoleons, a lot of money to to her name, she she feels happy. And if she's happy, then I'm happy and all things are going to go well. But also, if you guys didn't know, the new update actually came through um, two days ago, like I said. But the update video came along with some new stuff. Um, we got a new lighting, but you can't really see the lighting right now. Oh, yeah, she can. She can. Right? I think you can see it. Like, I don't know if you can really see it right here. Like, you can see a bit of a shadow. This, this like, 
bright line right here. That's a shadow from the window. So for the new lighting, I don't know. For the new lighting, n the lighting has improved. No more crappy lighting anymore. The lighting has improved in this in The Sims 4. And also, there's like a new gender preference, like new gender customization type of stuff. So now your females can wear male stuff and male hair. Your males can wear female and female clothing and female hair as well, which is actually pretty awesome. And I actually do kind of like that a lot. And Lilith has been doing rocking her body really great. I really love her. And that is a nice picture that she made. So it's going to frame it and then we're going to sell it to collector actually. But Addy, we're going to have you go ahead and call over Wes and see what he's up to actually. Hold up. Oh, oh that's the wrong person. Ooh, I was, I would have been so mad. I'm like, wait, how did she not know Wes? Somehow we're in a relationship with Polio. Oh yeah. And there's also a new, a new, um, UI. Yeah. This, this like new UI. It's like, look at this thing. That was not there. If, well, it was there, but the UI is so different of like all these things right here. There's, they're, they're literally the diff most different things I've ever seen. And I actually want to, like this right here, that, this, that, that, they changed the style of this and everything right here. What about the, what about the family tree though? Still looks the same. Okay. So, uh -huh. we have not seen the family tree in a while. So let's see. We got Addie and then the father is Tyler. The mother is Jeanette. And then, he, ta whoa, Tyler has three grand, ha well has has three grand, can't crit, grand, 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 grandkids, but two of them, one is, one is dead and two are alive. And we got Lillian and we also have Anika as well. And same old, same old stuff. Oh, here we go. Lily. There we go. Much better. So li Lily, Lily's father, well, Lily's mother, Lily and Anika's mother is Addie. Their father is Brad, but he got married to this guy right here. And I finally found him. I finally found him. He was in the unplayed section of the game. And I'm like, wait, I have no idea how this popped up. But then I knew because Nancy Landgrab set it up because he has, se Brad has secrets and he has secrets as well. So it's like a win-win situation, but not for them. They're not really together and they don't really live in this. They don't live in the same house, but we'll be seeing him very soon, sooner or later in the next couple of parts, maybe like after part 50, who knows? But, and also their grandparents is, was Rita and Bra Bradley McAllister. This one should say died by death by cancer, but we don't have that option in the Sims 4. We don't have real diseases in the Sims 4, which is kind of crazy, but still, I wish we did to make the game more real. But it says it, she died from old age, and Brad actually died from old age because he died from old age. He was he was old. He was an old gold digger, or whatever. He was, he was an old man, and Rita just died from cancer, so that was kind of pretty sad. And Brad is just all alone by himself. And well, Brad and Corey are, are living alone into the house with his lovely sister Corey McAllister. She's still in high school, but she kind of is like she's kind of that dumb person who just stays back and. Doesn't do well in school, but she's living the life of luxury, basically. Yeah, because he she lives in a mansion. So Addie, let's gonna have you call over Wes for uh, for the time being, and also Skip broke died because Wes killed him. So let's go invite over to certain lots. I'm not sure if he's gonna come over though, because he might be feeling blue or something like that. Just doesn't want to talk to anybody at all. It's like so, um, Wes, um, I was wondering if you want to come over, and he's like saying, um, yes, please. I really do need the comfort right now, cause right as of right now. I'm not feeling all that good. And I, I, I just generally need someone to talk to. And Lillian, she's actually a good musician as well. So we're going to have her go and practice on the guitar. And I'm just going to have you go down here and answer the door to Wes. So let's go ahead and share insecurities. And then we're going to go ahead and hug him. Because he might be feeling a little bit lonely and a little bit, oh, just a little bit of uh, not so hot. And we're also going to go and embrace him. It's like, hello, hello, welcome to my humble abode. We're going to discuss new ideas. We're also going to go ahead and propose a crazy scheme. And as well, we're going to be a little bit romantic. I feel like we should be romantic. I feel like we should try for a baby so badly. But I don't know. I feel like we should try for a baby, but... Oh. But I don't want her to have a baby, though. Oh, it's so hard. I'm gonna have her. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it, but we're not gonna take a pregnancy test because I don't want her to feel heartbroken or anything at all. 
But we're gonna wait though. I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna get to know him. We're going to wait. Did that say confront for from death? Where, where, hold up, where did that say? Oh, console about death. Okay, I was about to say, how does she know? How does she know about all this death? We're gonna go and discuss DJ tips, well, techniques. We're also going to ask about his day, see what his day was. Like, uh, my day was great, I guess. Wait, we're not in a relationship though? That's not, that's weird. Wait, how are we not in a relationship? It says we're lovebirds, that's, that's weird. That's really weird though. I thought we asked, I think we're boyfriend and girlfriend, that's weird. So we're also gonna go ahead and ask if single, maybe that will break the tie of like this. And he is what? Single, married to mingle? What, what is it? We're gonna embrace, okay, he's single. Go but say if he was not single, I would have flipped my lid. So it'll be romantic, we're gonna blow a kiss. We're also gonna go ahead and share a secret. And then I feel like we should go on a date before we go ahead and probably, you know, I think, yeah, you know what? It's, the night is still young. The night is still, they're young, they're hip, they're with it. They can go on a flipping date. We're doing it now. Hold up, we're, where is it at? Romantic, acts on a date. The night is still young. They're going on a date, you guys. We're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, she's making her little guitar, sweet. It's like so, uh, oh, they're flipping flirty, yes! Oh, Addie, who's hot, dang, dang. <laughs> Ooh, she is feeling flirted out in the note by his business, though. It's actually pretty cool that they're finally having a relationship. They're finally being happy for once in their life. And that's what I really love about this family and this let's play in the general. How everyone's getting what they want and actually finding happiness. Leanna found her happiness for, move, for moving from SimCity to Windenburg and finding her one true love and... Getting all that drama out of her life. And now with Addie, she still has drama, but she still has that sense of happiness. And I really do, really do, really, 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 really do love that. So, let's go ahead and let's see what we got in Windenburg. Nothing new, though. But we can't go to this cafe, because I do want to go to this cafe, actually. I want to go to Starbucks. Cafe or Starbucks? I'm going to cafe. I'll do Starbucks later. <laughs> I'll get my chai tea latte from Starbucks. Um, I don't drink coffee or I generally just drink tea because that helps with my throat for me yelling all day long in a microphone and just yelling in real life though. But I just don't drink coffee. I don't like caffeine. And I just don't go to Starbucks really because it's expensive and I just, I'm, I'm a pro, I'm a broke college student. I don't got time for that. But, but, if you guys have any ideas for creative sim ideas for like, for the new update that came this in for, let me know on what kind of creative sim I should do because I generally, generally want to put out so many creative sims for that new update. You have no idea. Over 700 items of content for clothing, hair, and all that stuff for the creative sim stuff. I am legit the most happiest person right now. I'm so good. I'm so good. So, I believe we are going to be, yeah, here we are. So, we're on a date, right, guys? And they're both very flirty right now. So, we're going to go ahead and kiss his hand. We're also going to go ahead and um pick up a line. Ooh, sweet. And you got Eric Lewis here. Great. He has ruined the mood. Great. So, let's get a little bit romantic. We're going to ask to be boyfriend. I think that's a good way to seal the deal for other things and then later on we can I'll have Addy propose because I feel like Wes is hiding something and I don't want him to feel insecure and I, I generally just want to see what they what he thinks it's like so um did you want to be did you want to have like pee together or or something like that because I really think that we really work together and I just want to be the, be with you for the rest of my life and he feels this, I feel he's, he feels the same way so it's gonna go and be enticing real quick Okay, I said be, in, be enticing. Entice him. <laughs> we're going to go to Compass Appearance, and then we're going to be enticing. There we go. So, Eddie, move with the purpose. Get in here. Oop, that was a little bit oop. It's like, you're sexy, and I can't get enough of your sass. Ew. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and caress his cheek. Then we're also going to go ahead and do a sexy pose. And then we're also going to be a little bit steamy. A little bit steamy. 
embrace and then express fondness. And I think we should go ahead and actually woohoo. Woohoo in the bed. Because there's actually a bed in this in this little bar. Oh, oh. Okay, um, that was a little bit weird. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Uh, oh, oh gosh. You guys, you have no idea how much this is. This means to me right now. How Addie's finally ro having romance and life in her in her everyday life. It's like literally the best thing ever. I love it. I just, I just love it to death. So let's go ahead and... Oh, she's doing a little sexy pose there. We got some guys right here. We got Kane Romeo, and then we got his brother, Yul Romeo. Oh, they literally look exactly the same. I did not know they were brothers. Is that an actual thing? That's pretty weird. So let's go ahead and actually whisper seduskively. I can never say that word right, but still. We're going to go and do a passionate kiss, and then I'm going to go ahead and make it on closet. Because I'm, I'm doing it. They're going to have that... No, they are literally having that one night, st not that one, that, that drunken moment. So we're going to get a little bit juiced here in a moment. So it's going to get a little bit juiced. Where's the bar at? Where the, the bar? The bar? Where, where is the bar at? Okay, the bar is up here. So let's go ahead and, ooh. Should I do, um, oh, should I hire Brad? But I don't want to spend $100 though. So let's go ahead and make a drink. Make a drink for everyone. We're going to go ahead and make the most juice on a rock. And I think that'd be kind of a cool idea to make that drink for that that one drunken night that you stay at this hotel. Where Addie and Wes stay at this hotel and they had this one drunken night. And she ended up getting pregnant maybe. I'm not really sure. She started feeling all these symptoms. It's like, why do I feel so sick all the time? I'm not really sure why. So we're going to go ahead and call up Wes. Actually, okay, here he is. Okay, grab the drink, and we're going to have her drink this as well. So drink that. I don't care about the silver, metal, whatever. And she drinks while she's on the toilet. Great. Where's your drink at? Okay, wash your hands. Go talk to Wes, wherever he's at. Talk to him. We need to be his friend. Okay, here he is. So let's go ahead and compass appearance. We're going to be a little bit drunk. We're a little bit tipsy. We're going to also go ahead and ask a risque question. She's very embarrassed. Cop wasn't... Huh? Cop was another from... Wait, hold up. Who, do, who is here? Is Polio... Okay. What? I am generally confused at the yin-yang. Huh? Really? Brock. We, we Brock. Okay. You know what, Brock? We were never together. We were never in love with you. You were just a drunken mistake, okay? Leave me alone. Never liked you. My goodness. Really? Addie was just feeling a hole in her heart, trying to make her feel whole. But sadly, it didn't work. She didn't find her one true love. And now they just hate each other. Great. So we're also going to be a little bit flip, uh, a little bit flirty. See, look, they're getting, they're being so drunken right now. Oh, we're not going to ask to be friends. We're going to go ask for this day. And then we're going to go ahead and do the dirty deed. Try for baby in closet. It's like you were, con it's like if she ends up being pregnant, she's like, tell her kids, like, I, um, you were conceived in a closet. It's like, uh, what? Wait, what? I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> she's, she's in that stage where like, oh. So he, he was, you, you want to go woohoo in the closet? Hmm? Do you? Do you really? Oh gosh, she, she has no idea what she's talking about right now. And neither does Wes. Neither of them know what they're talking about right now. Oh, and watch them go up, they're going upstairs. And I'm getting pictures, I'm getting pictures of all this too. Oh gosh, you got... Um, her lips are a little bit higher than that, Wes. You're kissing her chin. Oh, gosh. And she feels a little bit sad about this. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life right now? What is happening? She has no idea what's going on. But Wes is like, oh, daddy, <laughs> I'm getting some. Oh, but no, please, like, just, just don't. 
And then that very moment, she has no idea. She's going to wake up like, why does my head feel, why does my head hurt so much? I don't understand what just happened last night. All I remember, I was drinking a, I was talking to Wes. I drank a drink. And later on, I'm like, wait, what just happened? And now she's just very flirty because it's like, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, we. Is it steamy over here? Is it just you? Ooh. Man. It's like, is it hot in me or is it just you? It's like, oh, I just got some today. So we're going to go ahead and actually go to sleep because we are pretty much sleepy right now. And I feel like we should just go to bed. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pick up back into the morning. Wait, is he going to? Oh, I'll say if he. <gasps> is he leaving? Oh, no. Is he leaving? Oh no. Okay, no, he's he's not leaving. I'm like I thought if he left, then that was a one night stand. I'm so glad he But he's talking to Lancy Landgrab. Oh no, no. Okay, gosh, you you guys, you guys, this is a sign. This is a sign that Nancy Lancy Nancy was like, It's time. But Wes was like but we're not ready. We can't do this right now. We have so much stuff we have to plan and do. But Nancy was like, do it now or we're, or we're done. It's like, it's all or nothing. It's literally all or nothing at this point for Wes and the whole plan and everything like that. It's like, I totally understand. He has to do what he has to do. But... Now that Eddie's asleep and getting some rest from that one date and that all that niceness, I feel like we should go ahead and pick up back in the afternoon. I, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? Why does she feel sad? A little social. Then chat with somebody, okay? Socialize with Mora, okay? Whatever. But what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna pick up back in the morning, and we should be actually at Tyler's. No, actually, you know, I'm going to show you guys a new family. Wait, no. No, no. Wait, no, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be at Tyler's house, and then we're going to travel to some el someone else's house, actually, that I want to introduce you to, because it's from that someone I want to introduce for so long, and actually part of the story, and actually part of this plan as well. So I will pick it back in the afternoon when we get to their house so we'll see you guys then alrighty guys so welcome back and here we are at our 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 no here we are at the new humble abode house that we are, we don't live in but someone else that lives in here but i wanted to show you guys anika's new look not like that she was like uh 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 what <laughs> but no this is actually anika's new look and she looks flipping stunning how she aged up and so amazing so we're gonna go ahead and have her change her outfit into everyday number one so I can show you guys her full look that I gave her. So I gave Anika this new look and she, oh my gosh, the sun is literally like the best thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna actually just put that down right there. Nope, 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 there, there we go. There we go. Doesn't she look amazing? I love her, I just love, 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 love. And now that she has more freedom to do whatever she wants, she can finally invite her own sister to her own house. Like this is her sister Lillian, but I don't know. So we're going to go and show off outfit actually to our first. It's like, oh wow, you look so stunning. So it's going to knock on the door real quick too. And this house is actually belongs to um, Lincoln Burroughs and as well as Sundra Burroughs too. So if you guys don't know, I mentioned back in a few, few parts, like about, yeah, a few parts ago where we were at the jail with Tyler and he was talking to Lincoln about the plan. And I kind of mentioned that Lincoln had a wife and a daughter and a child or he had a, had a, like a child or children to expect it to be. And he didn't know about the children. Like he knew about the children that like she was pregnant, but didn't know how many kids there were. And there, and popped out two beautiful kids right here. And I'm actually pretty excited too. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys the family though. And just introduce you guys to them. So here we have is Sandra Bureaus. I made her myself. She looks very pretty. I love it. She has blue blue eyes. So 
Sandra Beerus is like more of a, she comes from more of a, a Latin background, even though she doesn't have the last name, a Latin last name, but still, she comes from a Latin background, has always been in the hood, like in the, in like low end areas, never really rich or like perfect or anything, but she always like was that number one person who was always looked up to and always pot, she was that, she was Miss Popular at her, at all of her schools. And then we have her lovely kid, Caitlin Bureaus. And the next, the two lovable kids right here is, uh, oh. Well, let me go ahead and um, talk to you both so I can know you and see what, see what your names are. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Okay. Can you get over here? Okay, move, move, move what's over here? Get over here. Oh, really? You can't? Okay, talk. Hmm, somebody don't know this. Know these children? That's pretty weird. Okay, then we got we got this kid right here, Alan Bureau. So Alan is a boy, pretty much. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's let's try something. Can I just reset the object? Can I reset this object though? Okay. Let's see if I can reset this object. So, T, true. I'm gonna try and reset the object. Can I talk to you now? Can I delete this thing right here? Reset object, reset room or something. Can I do something? I don't know, but here's the other child though. But the other child, I, I just don't know the name of. But they have two level kids and I'm actually pretty excited for this. And somehow we need to get the, the mother needs to get towards this this child to take care of its needs somehow some way <laughs> i don't know but yeah i really do love this i love the kids i love the mother she's a very very vibrant interesting person we're gonna do a friendly introduction to her just to get to know her a little better and the only the only way that she knows sandra is because that tyler kind of introduced sandra Tyler introduced Sandra to Anika back when Anika was like more of like a baby kind of and Sandra was like mostly in her like teens late like late teens and was Lincoln as well like they all like knew each other like in a sense and back when there was no drama no nothing was happening in their lives they were just basically just good friends and just got along but now that we got all these people coming along with Addie and everyone else in this whole gang of things and the and Nancy Landgrab, people going to jail. It's just all sorts of craziness happening in their lives. And now they just just don't understand. So let's go and do a little bit friendly introduction with Caitlin as well. Oh, she knew her when she was like little, but it's whatever. They moved here like a couple of months ago though. And that was pretty cool. But, oh gosh, this, ch oh gosh, this child is crying, but you can't get to the child though. And that's the weird part though. And we don't want her to get a child taken away. So what I'm gonna do real quick is actually control her household so I can actually move this child so we know the name of the child actually. Cause I wanna get, I wanna know. And I want you guys to know too cause we don't technically know the family tree at the very moment, even though it's Lincoln's ch children. Lincoln has three kids. Like before, like Caitlin was a, a very, very small baby about to turn into like a, into a child. She was about like, about five years old but then Lincoln decided to join the mafia with, with Tyler or whatever and sell drugs and then like they had like a little junkin night or whatever same as like with Addie and Wes like mostly it was a little bit more of a risque type of thing and then Sandra ended up Sandra ended up being pregnant and that's how these two kids came along into the world and Lincoln kn knows that she was pregnant but didn't know how many kids, like, Sandra told Lincoln about the pregnancy that she was pregnant, but didn't tell him how many kids. Like, he thought it was just, like, one child. Like, okay, I'm fine, fine, fine. But then later on, like, later that night, like, in the middle of the night, he basically just got arrested. And I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, what in the world just happened here? Lincoln got arrested for the production of drugs, and the other kid is called Freddie Bureaus. Okay. So his name is after his father, I think. I'm not really sure. That might be that might be either Lincoln's father or yeah, either Lincoln's father 
or Sandra's father. I don't know. Either way, it's it's a little bit of a bit of a mess. And also, Sandra has a dream of being a nice number one chef when she like, actually gets better at cooking. And she wants to open up her own store and become successful. And I think that would be kind of cool when Dine Out comes out as well. Like, once we get Dine Out, I think she'll be able to run her own store. So that's what I want to do when we, like, control her family every now and then. And if you guys want to see more of her family, like, most, like, basically her, like, her mother and her father, her uncles and her cousins and her cousins as well, let me know so I can totally do that and make them. But still, I want to know. I want you guys to know. So Lincoln Bureaus, they're both married still. So we got Freddie is her Freddie is her son. So they had two kids. So Freddie and Alan Bureaus, and then we got one little girl named Caitlin, and that's basically Lincoln's little girl, and she he would do anything for her. But now that like she knows that her father's like gone away into jail, but now it's like wow, really? I've been through all this pain, all this suffering, and like. Now what do I do? It's been a hardship. Now she just feels embarrassed about herself. Like, I just don't understand. That now all I have is my two little brothers and my mother to take care of me. I really miss my father. And I just don't know how to visit him. And, and I feel like that they will end up having like a, a visit, like a family day in the jail. Whenever like they have time. And when like, when she's not in school or anything, maybe like in the... Maybe, like, in the next part or so, I feel like we should go do a little family day at the jail and just talk to them and see what they're up to. So, let's go ahead and just see what can do. Okay, you can actually stop doing all that. We're going to have her talk to Lillian and Anika for a minute. So, let's go and do that. We're going to do an inside joke. And then, Anika, let's gonna have you do a front introduction. Sandra, take care of Alan. Feed him. Bottle feed him. He's just, he's very hungry, actually. And we're going to go ahead and change his diaper. We're going to rock him. We're also going to make a silly face, cuddle him. And we're going to coo at him as well. But Sandra, she is a, a very, very caring person. She speaks semi-Spanish. Was raised in, raised in America, but never really, like, learned Spanish as her own natural language. But mostly she learned English instead of Spanish. But it's whatever. But she, she tries to... She, she tries to do, does her best. And they keep on getting money from the state for um, Lincoln for being in jail and all that stuff. But even though they have to pay taxes and all that stuff. But they still earn some money for, like, for child support and stuff like that. But we have to take care of three kids. So we're going to go and teach her a valuable lesson. Caitlin has grown up for the past... She has grown up a lot in the past years. She had to grow up for her, for, for her brothers. Because since her father is in jail... She had to grow up on her own. And it's not been, it's been not, it's not, it hasn't been that easy for her. It really has not been that easy for her to grow up, to be her own independent person, take care of her, take care of her, she almost her children, her brothers, and be that independent. And like Sandra always says, like, can you go to the store for me and actually take, get some groceries for me and also like, like here's some money and go to the grocery store and get some of this stuff out here like here's a list and buy all this right here on the list and I'll give you some money and all stuff like that but now she's like I don't it's like I've done so much in my life but how do I really understand all of this I'm only eight years old I don't know how to really be an actual adult why can't I just be a kid again like why can I just can, can I just be my own kid my own child I just want to be normal. I just want to have a normal kid free life. Like, can I just have that, please? But she just can't. She just can't. Now that her father's in jail, she just can't. It's not going to happen. If, if something, like, if something happens to her brothers, she might actually go crazy. And if something happens to her father, if he, he like, he's sentenced on death row and, he was, like, also sent for, like, electrocution, but that doesn't count, really. But he still has to go on trial, and that might take a few months or so, but it's been too long. And with Wes, I don't know. They haven't really caught him just yet, but soon they will. And we got to protect him. Anika has to protect him, or someone has to protect him some way, somehow. Nancy won't do it. Tyler won't do it at all because the deed is done. They killed Skip Broke. Rita's gone, and now, like, they can do whatever they want. They literally kicked Wes to the curb. They don't care about him anymore. 
they just don't care. So I'm going to leave you guys off into that thought of what you guys think about this new family that I just introduced to you guys and uh, as well as everyone's new looks and what's not because I generally do love them. And what do you think about Anika though? In like a, in a general whole, like what do you think about Anika in a whole thing? Because I really want to know what you guys think and what you guys say, I really put into an account of for my future Let's Plays and my future for future parts in this Get Together Let's Play because I really think that with what you guys say, it generally does happen and it gets real, real quick, like zero to 100, like real quick. But seriously, I love it to death. I love you guys' comments a lot. So if you guys did not see the last part, I will link it down below along with my overview for the new update as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye. Oh, also, also, <laughs> also, if you guys, do you think Addie is pregnant or not? If you think her, if you think she's pregnant, let me know why. If you think she's not pregnant, also let me know why and also leave baby names if she's pregnant. And also, should we move houses for Addie? Because the house that she lives in right now is just not doing so hot right now. And it's just not, it's too expensive. So should we move houses? And also let me know if she's pregnant or not. And what do you think as Anika and the new family as a whole? And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video as well. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.